Good afternoon, everyone. It's Brad at the Yamaha Marine Center. Coming to you from Orange Park, as always, 1515 Wells Road, right off of 295. You can probably hear all the traffic. <clears throat> Today, we're finally getting some boats back in. It's been a crazy year, 2020. Almost done with it. But today is a 2021 Key West Bay Reef. And I forgot to print out the pricing. Dang it. Oh, well. MSRP on this boat is a little over $60,000 the way it sits. Check with your local dealer for their pricing because it can change regionally. We don't have a huge overhead, so we do sell at a fairly discounted price from that. Uh, shoot me a comment below and we can get hooked up if you're here in a local area but the boat is 21 feet one inches long exactly eight feet on the beam let me stick this in the camera as i'm reading it and that's all the specs for all the boats a 25 inch transom 1900 pounds i believe that's without engine uh 19 degree boat so pretty aggressive for a bay boat with a 12 inch draft 60 gallon fuel tank max horsepower is a 225 although the thing does phenomenal with a 150 uh four cylinder onyx engine not too heavy for the boat uh, a lot of these manufacturers will strap way too much horsepower on a boat and it actually is more of a detriment uh, to the handling and then that way you know you got to run trim tabs or something like that to get the boat to run right but pretty good look at the boat from the outside nice flush casting deck and once we get up on the boat uh, you can see that a little bit more how uh, flush this gunnel is it still gives you a little bit of a toe kick that way if you're up there not paying attention at least you're not going right over the edge but the entry of the boat is fairly soft so not as aggressive as like what you can see on like the 20 foot fs series over there a little bit more aggressive entry where this one's a little softer uh more of a true bay boat um and not that dv center console but you still get a, a decent flare out of the boat so if you do get stuck in some nonsense then it's going to be a little bit drier hopefully than a lot of the other boats out there i don't have a ton of experience on this one um we've only had a couple others since we've had the franchise for only two years they don't build a lot of bay boats in relation to their fs or center console series so we only stock a couple of these relatively speaking but uh, aggressive strikes on the boat uh, to help the boat hop up on plane a little bit quicker and uh, that really aggressive uh, reverse shine on the outside of the boat yeah, almost looks more center console -ish, so I think this thing can handle some pretty nasty chop and you can see how aggressive it stays all the way through the back of the boat uh, pointing down and there's almost a, a, a secondary yeah not really a shine it's more of a water line I guess but nice lines on the boat real traditional low gunnel bay boat coming to the back we got the Atlas uh, electric hydraulic or I think this one's just electric motor. I don't know if that's hydraulic in there or not. Somebody can probably correct me. I'm pretty ignorant on these. It looks like just an electric motor, but there's a seal in there too, so there might be a little bit of hydraulics in it. But anyway, TH Marine Atlas jack plate. Looks like about uh, 10 inches of setback. Yamaha F-150. I would think this boat should do probably high 40s, low 50s, depending on conditions. Uh, standard swim platform you can see the dead rise in the back flattens out really nice you got a pretty decent hook in the hole back here too so i would assume uh you know it doesn't even need trim tabs really unless you got a specific reason which we did not install on the boat but you can always add it after the fact and then you got that garmin looks like a gt22 transducer should do uh imaging and traditional sonar and then of course all your little through holes back here those should be deck drains and then that should be a pickup there for the live well or a raw water wash down or maybe both um nice size splash well it's really attractive back here as far as the layout goes and then you got a ton of casting deck space and which is pretty rare on a lot of these 21 foot boats they give you a ton of deck space and then the storage back here goes up underneath the seat so a lot of storage space um not really even gasketed but this whole underside is like a mushy gasket material so as you close these really dogs the cover down so if you do uh you know not swamp the boat but you stop really aggressively and you, the water does overcome the splash well hopefully you're not getting a bunch of water in your storage keeping your, your towels or tackle or gear 
nice and dry for you. Um, cup holders um, all throughout the boat, one on each side, and then also four to the boat up by the front there. Uh, rod holders all along the sides. We can add more if you need them. Who can have enough rod holders? Rocket launcher on the back. Grab rail for the passengers back here. Probably my one of my biggest complaints a lot of, about a lot of these bay boats is they put so much casting deck space uh, to, to be out fishing that they really neglect the cockpit of the boat. So you see, once you slide this cooler out, um, there's like no cockpit space left. So yeah, that's a little frustrating. But like most boating, everything on a boat tends to be a compromise. It does this well, but it does the other thing horribly. So that's boating for you find what works best for you huge live well though so this you know the bay reef series is kind of like their center console series where it's more laid out for fishing so they build a lot of fishability into it like these gigantic live wells led lights um i'm not just i think this one has a research on it too yeah so you got a fill nozzle and then a research nozzle for better oxygenation i think that's a word i'm sure somebody will call me an idiot if it's not jump seats why well, I really like these jump seats, and they do come with a bottom cushion, we just don't put them out here so they don't get weathered, is once you fold this backrest out and you're actually seated, the gunnels are so low that the seat kind of tucks you in, um, so it still feels like you're in the boat, even though there's not a lot of gunnel height there to, to keep you tucked in. So if you have younger children and stuff like that, at least the high seat back and then the low cushion down here makes you feel more in the boat and then of course the grab rails on the back of the leaning post prove really useful um, all the cleats are pop-up so you know everything about this boat is, is kind of based around fishing so they don't want lines getting hung up on stuff so pop up uh, separate fender holders that way you can put your fenders on a different cleat than your dock lines so you're not taking up your good dock line cleats uh, with fender ropes t-top is kind of cool I like how they notched it out again based around fishing so if you're fishing the side of the boat um, the real width of your t-top is back here more grab handle um, and then there's a bag that goes in here to hold life jackets more rocket launchers some rigid spreader lights uh, big e-box nice map light uh, it's red and white so the red's better for your eyes at low light conditions the white's brighter of course uh, Richie compass looks like a nine inch Garmin echo map 942 something like that I don't remember what they're calling the model now but it should be a plus because it's all touchscreen Yamaha command link gauges that gives you your full suite of tilt trim tack battery voltage uh, engine temperature or water pressure fuel gauge uh, fuel trip fuel flow fuel economy total fuel used Really nice engine package for the money without having to upgrade to the, the full color stuff. So it's all digital, all the cool sensors. Uh, they've upgraded the Jensen to Clarion for 2021. So a little bit better quality stereo, Clarion speakers. We put the two extra speakers in this boat as well that are back there in the cramped cockpit. But it's kind of nice having them down there because it keeps the sound inside the boat instead of putting them like on the side of the console where the sound goes boop right out so you can actually hear stuff uh steering wheel tilt 11 inches of adjustment hydraulic so it makes it pretty easy to steer even though that 150 is not a heavy engine or high torque um it still makes it easier to steer and you don't get that feedback that you get out of cable steering jack plate switch regular 704 binnacle uh pretty standard stuff but not many bay boats have this much room in the head so having a, a little bit deeper boat gives you a lot more storage battery compartment back there all nice clean chases uh wiring is nice and tidy especially for this uh upper midline of boat normally you don't get this kind of quality some you know sometimes it turns into a spaghetti mess uh freshwater tank you see the vent there the fill the tank is down there and so then you got a freshwater wash down and you have a raw water wash down on the aft side back there so nice features come to the front of the boat again focus on fishing casting deck again with that little ridge right here so there's not much maybe three quarters of an inch to an inch depending on where you're at 
for the height of that. Nice lockable rod storage in there so you can fit like three, five rods per side. And I would assume uh, the tubing goes all the way to the front so it looks like a seven and a half uh, would fit pretty easily, maybe longer. And then cooler underneath the front seat. Does drain in the bilge to so be conscious of that. Fresh water fill over there. This is the same on this side as far as rod storage goes. And then the same gasketing. And you can really see where the you dog it down and it becomes fairly waterproof. And then on this one again with the fishability, you have another live well up front, which you can use for live catch baits, multiple baits. More storage up here, five gallon bucket, life jackets, tackle, whatever. Plenty of space, plenty of places to throw things. And then anchor locker up front. Uh, this does come with a bow cushion package as well, which is why you're seeing the snaps everywhere. Uh, pre rigged for a trolling motor. Because as you know, these Key West boats are foam filled, so they become a little bit difficult to rig after the fact because the deck is full of foam which is why you don't get like fish boxes in the floor or storage back there uh you know you sacrifice the index space for the i guess security of foam field and it gives it a nice ride nice solid sounding ride and uh it's a lot cheaper than putting a ton of fiberglass and resin in them keeps them lighter makes them feel solid and quote unquote unsinkable all that stuff but if you have any questions on this beautiful 210 bay reef or any of the other few boats we have left or questions on when we're getting inventory, give us a call 904-644-7631. Or as always, you can get us on the web, yamahamarinejax.com.